Welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we're going to be doing our weekly mailbox cleanouts. Uh, we're going to go over a couple different things. As per usual, I'm going to talk about what we sold, you know, well, how much we sold it for, some interesting information about some of it, you know, if, if if I remember it or if I see something that's worth talking about, then we'll go over it. But it's also just so you guys can see what we're making gold on, maybe get some inspiration from some of the things that we're talking about or some, some of the things that we are selling. But either way, before we do get into it, I do want to make sure to say a very big thanks to all the people over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting me every single month. It is greatly appreciated. If you guys are interested, there are some great benefits to be had over there. There are TSM groups, of course, and then point blank sniper shopping list for sniping, obviously. And then also there's a very long document of alt army activities. All these things do get occasional updates as well uh, with things that I'm doing, but also just uh, additional information that I think is important to know about. But enough of that. Let's get straight into the video. So we have a lot. It's been about a week since uh, we made the last weekly mailbox cleanouts, and we have had quite the interesting week. As you guys can see here, there's 392 mails. I'm pretty sure that every single one of these are gold. Maybe there's something hiding in here that isn't gold, and if there is, then obviously we'll take it out, but we'll take it as we go. So the first 100 mails, we are looking at 5 million gold, okay? So as you can see, there's some living steel here. This is uh, daily crafts that I had found and some tunes that I had that I just forgot about. So this is some stuff that I crafted a long time ago. Then we also had an orb of deception for 5k, or no, 10k, which is 10k is still pretty low, uh, considerably, because, you know, considerably low, actually, because usually we've been able to sell these for 20, 30, 40k, but these are getting over farmed, unfortunately, uh, recently, so, but it's okay, it's, it's not a big deal. This is one that we got farming, so that's okay on that, and on that front, and then a bunch of living steel, some trillium, trillium bars as well. These were crafted, trillium bars. And then we have uh, the Face of Doom, which is one of the next Ramas crafted things. One of those recipes, which is very nice to see that, 95k. We probably craft these for 30k at this point, maybe 25k. They're really cheap to make at the moment, so this is a, <coughs> a very nice uh, profit to see. And then... Uh, there's some uh, there's one lamented piece uh, for some of you guys that might have seen the most recent video We did an opening of 607 uh, Dented Raiders tokens and those have a chance of giving you lamented crusaders pieces Which are a part of what you use for tier 3 Crafted gear if you want to make it through work orders the new way that they've added it in 1015 And this is one of them the shoulders here 380k quite low on that end obviously the most popular piece out of all of them especially for people posting on the auction house so unfortunately pretty low but it's also i know for a fact this is the lowest one that we have nothing went over this all the other ones are much higher and we have a bunch of crafted mog and uh, you know some mog that is farmed as well nothing too crazy only a couple hundred gold again i still even if it's only a couple hundred gold i'll still go for it if it sells really nicely and it's still profit you know all i have to do is buy a couple of materials, craft, and post on the auction house. It's uh, it's very little work for getting some easy gold eventually. And then we have, you know, some ice paint sales here, which is great to see, because those are also next time as crafted pieces. And then we see here, there are one, two, three, four lamented pieces. We actually got eight of them, so we'll see some more. But you can see here, 665k, 665, 665, and 665. Very, very awesome prices. Definitely some of the stuff that's pulling the uh, total gold up. Very nice to see. Something that's also important to realize about opening those Dented Raiders tokens is the fact that you'll also get a bunch of other Mog, which is why I have a lot of farmed Mog in here and also a lot of craft mog, crafted Mog. And then more, you see here, more Ice Bane sales. They're definitely lower, 3.6 to 4.5-ish. So not making more than uh, a couple, maybe, you know, 1,000, 2,000 gold. But we've been able to sell multiple full sets of this stuff before uh, within a couple days or even in the same day. So this is, uh, you know, even if it's a, a couple thousand, I'll still take it. It's very nice to see. Then other, also we got two sales here and a red workman's uh, shirt. These drop out of the next Ramus. If you have a tailoring tune, you have the chance to, to get these. 
from regular mobs getting them sold for 8.5k is on the lower side but obviously you know it's been getting dragged down by a lot of people farming next rama so it's it's to no surprise and then you see the additional three lamented pieces here 500k 500k and 472k i'm pretty happy with the prices overall we were able to sell all eight that we farmed since the reset we we're also able to sell ones that we got before the reset and we'll see that later on uh besides that it's only like smaller crafted things that we've already talked about nothing too interesting so uh we'll move on ahead to the next uh 100 i can see that we have 5.8 million gold here so uh, we do have a little too much to loot all of this gold <laughs> which is quite the lovely problem to have uh, but I'll just go ahead and send some gold over to uh, one of my other tunes here. Uh, that should be okay. Boom. Let's get to looting. And, uh, you know, almost 400 mils, which is very good. Uh, I also think there's some bags in here, so that might actually be inflating that number just a little bit. But either way, having 400 almost sales within one week is very, very nice to see. And as you guys know, I talked about this last week as well. I post one one time, maybe two times a day, and then on certain materials or certain markets, I might check it and repost a little more often. But on most things, I'm not posting more than once or twice a day. I'm not. So there's that. Now, for the next 100 pieces, we have 3 million gold here. Nice to see we have some bags. And then additionally on top, some crafted farmed lots of stuff we have a darrow turk here this is crafted only for a couple thousand which is very awesome to see very nice sale 48k and then we also have a milo and a scout these are uh dragonfly pets and we were actually able to uh, i have a lot of polished pet charms so i restocked on some of these getting these these two sales is definitely very nice to see as well and then you can see a lot more chrono cloth reagent bags and also a show weave bags or packs rather really nice to see and then you see another lamented piece here 665k really awesome to see there's a bunch of farmed and crafted mock here nothing sticking out like a sore thumb there is some here the the cloth frost resistance gear 23.7k definitely awesome to see we have another face of doom 95k same as the other one we saw before a couple patterns that we actually have been able to sell which is super nice to see and then we have Dracophis in here now Dracophis, they're obviously not all profits uh for all the uh, the stuff that's related to the Dracophis, i know we profited like 350k to 400k so that is also going to to bring our gold total a little up higher because you know it's obviously not accounting for how much we used on it but just know that when you're looking at the Dracophis and the silken gem dust and the glow spores we've profited 350 to 400k but still the next 100 males being three mil is pretty nice to see we're coming up on 8 million which is uh, definitely a sight to see i am uh, not complaining even even just remotely I, I am very very happy with that and we'll move on to what we see next here <clears throat> we might even have to send over some more gold uh, which is, you know, a lovely pro problem to have. From the looks of it, that is definitely the case. But uh, that's all right. That's all right. We'll send over some more gold. Send over an additional 4 million. And that should be all right. All right. We have another 2.5 million gold. And we're looking at, obviously, Jerkovis pulling it up again, as I talked about before. It's not all profits. Then we have the Lamented Crusader Spalders and Lamented Crusader Spalders. Two of them here. Definitely better price than the one that we saw early in the opening, which is very nice to see. And then another plan here from Nike's Ramas selling that as well. And then multiple ones here, 9k, 38k, 6k, and then that one, 14k. Some pretty decent prices. More crafted transmog. Some more bags uh, all over the place. More crafted from Next Ramos as well. There's a lot of that stuff that really has been selling super, super well. I'm super happy about it. And then as well, on top of that, we have a bunch of old raid BOEs that we actually also farm because they increased the drop rate on some of that. So I was in there. You can see the DM here of the Highborn. That's one of them. Um, and then Treads of Violent Intrusion as well. 
same thing. Some of these prizes are on the lower end, obviously, because a lot of people have been farming that stuff, so that's brought the prices down. But that doesn't change the fact that they still sell. So I'll take that gold. Yes, I will. And then we have, uh, obviously, more of the same stuff. And then we have Myra's Lullaby. This one is crafted for a couple thousand gold. So getting 47k for it is amazing to see. The Darrow Dirk showing up here again, 28.5k. Also only a couple thousand gold to craft, which is very nice. Uh, we have the Spirit of War here. Uh, we doubled our gold on this. I bought these for half of what I sold them for. So uh, we can basically consider, you know, 40, 50k of this being total profits. So very nice to see. And then let's see if there's anything else that's uh, kind of interesting. I don't think there is, but obviously, as you can see, there's a lot more bags. And the bags, when you see these, there are they're usually like a third of it is profit, like 33 percent. So on an 1800, it would be around 600 gold, which is nice to see. I will definitely take it. But 2.5 on the next 100, and we are going to have around 100 left after we loot these. We'll see what there is to actually go over. Definitely a great opening. It's actually better than I expected. Some of these things that I have in here, I kind of forgot about. Uh, so I'm pretty happy to see this stuff here. Definitely a good week. And uh, I think it's going to be very hard to beat this next week. But, you know, you never know what could happen. Could always make a turnaround. For the last, uh, when it loads in here... Uh, we'll wait. 94 males, 1.2 million. Very good to see. Very good to see. Uh, oh, wow. It's a little thunder outside. But anyway, Death's Gamble, 142.5k. It's actually been nine days. It's been a little longer, so I uh, miscounted a little bit. We also got rid of these, but it's okay. It's, a, you know, so these are from the week before, but that's all right. These are very nice to see a lot of these sales. Dev's Gamble, I crafted this for, at that point, probably 40, 40k, 50k, so this is like 100k profit. And then you can see more of these Ice Bane sets, really awesome, Mul multiple thousands of gold on profit on those. And then you can see some of these Glacial ones as well. This was crazy, you know, probably 20, 25k profit on those, very, very nice to see. And then we have a Sky Fury Headdress, only a couple thousand gold to craft, very nice, also a part of the next Ramas. Patterns, and then we have two phases of Doom, 156k and 156k. Amazing to see. I'm very, very happy about those sales there. Some more packs. We have an Edict of the Redeemed Crusader. That's also an x Ramas pattern, 142k. This is probably 40, 50k to make. So I'm pretty happy about that. Very, very happy about that. And uh, Dawn of Demise. This is again. It's a cheaper one. I think it's like a 20k now. When I crafted this, it could have been 30, but still half of that at least is profit. So another 1.2 million collected. Very, very good to see. Very good to see. So uh, we we sent over we sent over five mil, right? We collected five million, and then it was another. I don't even remember now. I forgot how much it was. Uh, but we can think of it like this. I had 5.5 million when I started. Uh, and we looted. We're up to 7.8 now. And we've sent over 9. So a little math in my head. 9, nine mil plus the 8 mil right there. And then we'll minus the 5. 12 million? 11 or 12? 11 or 12 million? If that's correct, uh, I mean, uh, you know, for you guys to watch the video, you obviously saw how much it is. I could go back. But either way, we made a lot of gold. Uh, I'm very happy with this week. Definitely a super awesome week with uh, Chakofis being an opportunity for us. And then additionally on top, we also obviously have lamented pieces and next ramus to farm we're going to be doing uh Dracophis as well and lamented pieces as well so we should be seeing a very good week uh, as well next week so hopefully that all goes well if you guys watched it all the way to this point in the video make sure you type down in the comments below type two days because i almost missed out on taking these out of my mailbox because they expire in two days so type two days uh if you watched it all the way to the end i appreciate you guys for watching all the way to here and thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!